Hi guys, it's me Morgan and I am back with another Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, I have quite a bit of stuff to get through. Um, some new finds, some goodies, some um, repeat items. So go ahead and just grab your cup of coffee and we get ready to dap right on in this thing. All right. <clears throat> First up, we are going to do food and drink. <clears throat> I purchased these sweet Christmas marshmallows. You get three different shapes. They're by Colum Columbina. Columbina? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I got them for 50 cents. Best by July 2022. I just thought they'd be good to put in hot chocolate. So, there's those. Next, I was super excited to found these. <clears throat> About two of them. They are these Czech Mix family size for a dollar, and they are white cheddar. They are 15 ounce bag. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And you get all the original Chex Mix in the white cheddar flavor for a dollar. Yes, please. Super excited. I love Chex Mix anyway, and anything white cheddar is right up my alley. So, I feel like those were made for me. <clears throat> Next is a repurchase. It's just this Mountain Trail Mix by Island Choice. They expire 11 01 of 2022. Now you get a blend of peanuts, raisins, M&Ms, milk, chocolate, candies, almonds, and cashews. Low cholesterol, low sodium, good source of vitamin E. Five ounces. I like to snack on these, so I keep them around. It gets my sweet and my salty. <clears throat> Next is repurchase. It is this BizQuick Complete Biscuit Mix Cheese Garlic. All you need is water. Makes up two, or makes six biscuits. So, and they're like the drop biscuits, so. <clears throat> I still haven't gave them a try. I bought some a while back. I still haven't gave them a try, but I wanted to go ahead and pick another one up because they sound fantastic. <clears throat> Next were wish list items. They are the Mum Mum Snacks. Plant-based pea crisps. This one, whoop, is mixed berries. And this one is apple cinnamon you get five pouches in each box and they're for ages two years and up these at like walmart or kroger or anywhere you buy your toddler type snacks these cost like eight bucks in the store so for a dollar i was so excited i finally found these because i know kenny ray will tear them up <clears throat> My throat's kind of giving me problems today. I apologize. Next up is two boxes of the 25% more Columbia Panay, Panini, however you want to say it, pasta. I just needed to restock on these, and every time it says 25% more, I love it. <clears throat> also, a repurchase for me is this Velveeta cheese sauce. I just picked up two packs. You can get a four-pack at um, Kroger for $6. So, a dollar piece is actually a pretty good deal. Um, and I know you can get a block of cheese and blah, blah, blah. 
but I like doing this. It's just so much easier. And sometimes my husband comes home from third shift and makes him a bowl of macaroni for lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever you want to call that meal for him. Next up are these, I finally found them. They were wish list items, the scrumptious wafer rolls. This one is chocolate cream filled. And this one is hazelnut cream filled. <clears throat> Distributed by European Confections. They are good until, um, the hazelnut is good until 12 31 2022. And the chocolate one is good until January 3rd, 2023. So, we're going to try one right now. We're going to try this hazelnut just because I want to. So, here we go. Oh, I broke mine as soon as I pulled it out. But that's okay. This is what they normally look like before I broke mine. So they're small, they're bite size, but this is the perfect size. Mm. Those are a good little snack to have. Especially with coffee. Oh yeah. Those were good. <clears throat> and last in food and drinks, I have this 24 fluid ounce of Utopia Original Pancake Syrup. 20 calories per serving. Best by September 24th, 2022. And it's manufactured exclusively for Monarch LLC. Product of Peru. I just needed pancake mix or uh, pancake syrup and I was like, yes. So for a dollar, yes please. Because food is outrageous expensive anymore. Alright. <clears throat> Next we are going to do household which also this time includes crafting, pet, and tool bench. Yes. First off is this, just their jock clipboards. I just really like the plaid print and let me tell you what I'm gonna do. So if you have a Cricut or do the tumbler with resin, seen a hack on I think TikTok where you take a clipboard you take a pull noodle cut it in half glue one here and one here and that way your cup doesn't turn when you're trying to put the vinyl on so for two bucks you have one and those the things you buy online aren't cheap so I just went ahead and picked this one up Next was a wish list. It was the garden tool hangers. And I know they have this in the essentials line, but I have not found that one yet. So I'm opting out for this one. Um, garden tool hanger, light duty use, anti-slip rubber clasp to prevent your brooms and mops from falling. Space saving solutions. So you just hang it like this, put your mop in there, your broom, and it has a hook so you can hang like a dustpan or something if you want. So for a dollar, I figured I'd give it a try. Oh, and this was in the garden collection. I don't know if I said that. So. <clears throat> Next, I picked up these dog waste bags. You get 60 count, but look how cute these are. Not that it matters, but you got like a gray and black and a red and black buffalo. So. And this is a Dollar Tree product, so I just went ahead and picked one of those up. Next, I finally found the Coconut Eggnog Luminescence Candle. It's just a three ounce candle, and this smells so 
so good. Mmm. I love it. Quite possibly one of my favorite scents I've found so far. <clears throat> Up next, it's just a repurchase for me. It's the phone stand by E-Cricket. Or E-Circuit. E-Circuit, not E-Cricket. Um... I just wanted one for over here. I have one in my room and I have one at work, but I don't like having to carry them around everywhere. So I figured for a dollar, I'll just buy another one and leave it here in my craft station. Next, I picked up a 20 count of the glue sticks by Crafter Square. These are the smaller ones. I just needed a couple extra glue sticks for a project, and I figured I might as well go ahead and buy them there because I have no intentions of going back out anywhere for a while until I have to go to work because it's cold and wet and rainy and I don't like it. So. And then tool bench. <clears throat> I found a sanding block, and you get 10 sheets of sandpaper. you are a crafter this comes in so handy when you're um, you get wood pieces you need to file down the edges or if you want to make something look weathered you can file off a little bit of your paint or if um, you do the resin cups you need to clear off the rim a little bit before you do your last coat saves your hands pretty excited about it myself <clears throat> And also in tool bench, I just picked up this three rows of jute twine. This is the better deal than what you get in the crafter square section. And I use a lot of this stuff for my crafts. A lot. Like a lot, a lot. So. And the last two items. So I picked up this <clears throat> 25 fluid ounce stay, of this extra nice and fluffy fabric softener. You get 30 loads. Um, it is in Tropical Passion. Hmm. That smells nice. But I actually, <clears throat> okay, here's another cleaning tip. Take this. I'm sorry, my stuff fell and hit the camera if you shook. Um, you take this, put it in a spray bottle and dilute it just a little. And when you're cleaning your house, spray your baseboards and your doors. Wipe them down. And it helps keep the dust down. And it makes them smell nice. So, just a little FYI. And then last is this essential storage box. It is a 3.38 count. But it is this black lid with the clear middle and a black bottom. It's a small size. It's the perfect size for a craft station or <clears throat> um, to keep baby pacifiers or extra um, bottle lids, things like that. Just saying. So I just picked up one. I don't really have a purpose for it now because I've I had everything I needed. It turned out, but I wanted to keep it. I wanted to have it in stock just in case. All right. My hair is getting on my nerves, guys. I'm sorry. Like it just doesn't want to stay anywhere. Next up is Valentine's Day. Yes, Valentine's Day is a, quite a bit away still, but if I don't buy it now, I won't be able to find it when I need it. So, first off is this two count of these gnomes on a stake. But look how cute they are. So, let me fix it. Let me fix them up just a little bit because they're kind of a hot mess. But, look. They got the gray knit cap with the red hearts. And they have them in different designs, like 
I want to say one was red with white hearts or something, but I just like this gray, and I thought these would be cute to stick in a wreath. That's my thought on that. Next up, I purchased this pom-pom garland in red. You get 1.3 yards. I didn't find any of this for Christmas. I know they had it, but I didn't find any, and I was kind of bummed. So, when I found this, I was excited. Um, it came out in, let's see, I've seen it in red, pink, and then red and pink together. I want to say there's probably a white one out there, but I'm not sure. So, I just bought this one. I figured red, if I don't use it for crafting for Valentine's, I could always use it towards something else. Um... But, or you can just use it as a garland. Which I might do. I don't know. I haven't really made up my mind yet. This year, I lucked out and I found the Valentine Fuzzy Friend Gnomes. Look how cute. So, this one is pink and gray. He's my favorite. This one is pink and red and then this one is red and blue they also had one that was red and brown but I only needed three to make gift baskets for my loving family for Valentine's Day but these are super soft as well I love them I mean look, look how cute he is you can also put a name across here if you want using your mini heat press personalize it <clears throat> next I got these airhead mini bars you get 12 assorted minis you get uh, 22 bars looks like you get a white mystery a strawberry and a cherry flavor So, I figured it'd be cute to put in my kids' best, well, my husband's, everybody's, Valentine bags. Next, I found this, and I was super excited, because it's so cute. Look at this little cute thing. Now, it's a little hanger thing, but how adorable is this going to be? on a tear tray. It is adorable. It's galvanized like it is tin and has a red bow. No fallout. It has this rustic look here, you see? And they had it in different options. This is just more my style. I love the red for Valentine's Day and anything galvanized metal is right up my alley. So I did buy one of those. I love it. I also bought this. It they're calling it just a decor. But it's like a little votive holder or trinket tray, whatever you want to use it for. I plan on using it for my tear tray. It'll probably sit leaned up like this. They can't let's see. They had it in red, white, and pink, but I just really liked this baby doll pink. It is cute. And I might even use my Cricut and put XOXO across. Maybe. Depends on froggy I feel. <clears throat> also for my tear tray, I found this. It says hugs and it's like this creamy off-white color. doesn't tell me how long it is but just to kind of hang off the top tier I thought it was super cute <clears throat> I purchased this cotton twine you get three pieces they are red and you get a pink and white and a pink these are the Valentine colors you can find other colors in crafter square but I wanted these for Valentine's and I will add them to my collection
And then last up in Valentine, I found these Amari cookies. One with pink. With red swivels. And one with red and white. They're super cute. Um, manufactured by Deco Cookies. Product of Mexico. Alright, and last in this haul is Health and Beauty. My last haul, you may, if you watched it, um, I found one of the pill organizers, if it was just the one. What am I trying to say? Yeah, it was just the one. You didn't get AM, PM. <clears throat> and I went ahead and bought it in one store just in case I didn't find the other one. But I found it. And I got it in green. It came in green, blue, and clear, I think. Um, this is imported by Well Technology Company Limited. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it. This is what it looks like. So you've got your Saturday through Sunday p.m. and your Saturday through Sunday a.m. They just snap open and close. So, pretty excited to find that. Next, I purchased this 3-in-1 cotton set. You get 10 cotton pads, 70 cotton swabs, and 10 cotton balls. I just bought it to keep here at my craft station. I know you can probably find a better deal um, if you just buy a pack of all. But, this has the container and it will work perfectly right here in my little space. Next, I finally found, this is a wish list, wish list item, this Lucky Super Soft Witch Hazel Solution Clean and Fresh, six fluid ounces. Um, witch Hazel is fantastic for your skin. So, and for a dollar, yes, because it is pretty expensive. Um, this is manufactured by Delta Brands. But I was super excited to find this because I've been seeing everyone haul it and I had yet to see it. And I found it in the, like where the medicines was. Like it wasn't with the face wipes and the creams and all that. It was with the um, medicine. So like next to the Epsom salt actually. So if you can't find it, you might want to check there. And I found these, and I think these are newer, because I haven't seen them before. Um, they are both about Global Beauty Care, and this one is the Collagen Facial Serum. It says, Renew, Restore, Revive. It minimizes the appearance of five lines and wrinkles for all skin type. Which I'm glad I found these, because I'm almost out of the one I'm using now, which is the multivitamin one. And then I found this one, and I know I'm going to butcher this, so bear with me. Nye, not, you know what, I'm not even going to try to say it. But, it says, um, with vitamins B, C, E for all skin types, rejuvenate, hydrate, and brighten. There, y'all can say that word. Like, in my head, I know how it sounds, but when I go to say it, it's not coming out right. <clears throat> Next is a repurchase. It's just just this B and B body wash, fresh scent for men. This is by TSM Brands. I just bought it for my son, and it smells so good, guys. It smells so good. Very manly. Get another sip here. This weather's getting a throat. 
Next, I found this <clears throat> Maybelline, which is name brand, Vivid Matte in the Rebel Red. Look at that color. Now, I'm going to try it. I have on a little bit of lipstick from church this morning. By the way, I'm filming this on Sunday. But, I think it's mainly gone by now. But, I'm really intrigued. Because red scares me. Bright reds. I love them on everybody else, but it scares the death out of me. But, I love matte. So, maybe this will work. Maybe I'll like it. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know why I smell it. It goes on smooth, but I don't know. We'll let it dry and we'll judge it here in a minute. So for right now, we will move on. And now I'm just gonna stare at my lips. Last up, I found these, and I hadn't seen these before, but right on it, it says $5.98. So six bucks. But this is a matte liquid lipstick and liner. And it just says liquid lip and liner. It doesn't have any like manufactured by nothing. But look at that pretty pink. And it was the only color they found they had it in. Let me open it because there's a glare. It is matte. Let's see. Distributed by Lemon Tree. Look at this color. It's like a mauve, like. Yeah, like a mauve color. And it is just a regular applicator. And then you have the liner to go along with it. Ooh, and it's one of the good twist liners. Let's just... Already here, right? Well, it writes really well, or goes on smooth. How's that? <clears throat> it's kind of hard to see it because it's a really light color, but you see that? It's a really pretty color. And then, this one says Shimmer 598. And it is this peachy color. And the other one is just a shimmer top coat. It says the color one is number 100 and the shimmer is number B05. No, number 905. This one is number 305. So, for a dollar, I figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot. Do I need any more lipstick? Absolutely not. I do not. I think I could never buy lipstick again and have enough to last, last me a lifetime, but I'm kind of addicted to it. So, um, this is dried pretty good. It's not dried all the way though, but I really like it. Like it's smooth. It's not as vibrant as I thought it was going to be. So yes. I recommend that was the Maybelline vivid matte liquid in rebel red so guys that is it for this haul 
Um, if you like this comment, or if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, go ahead and drop me a comment down below. I love hearing from you all, and it helps my channel grow. Also, keep in mind, when we hit 500 followers, we are doing a makeup giveaway. I think right now we sit at 400, so we're 100 followers away. So, come on, guys. Um, if you aren't already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are more than happy to welcome you to the family. We tend to have quite a bit of fun here. I get a little bit of kooky, a little bit of crazy. Sometimes I get emotional. You never know what you're going to get. Um, if you like my content here, go follow me on Instagram at Cozy with Morgan. I post there Monday through Friday. Um, I post DIY things that I do with stuff I find at Dollar Tree, as well as things that I see at Dollar Tree I don't necessarily need, but I thought you all might like to see it, so I'll share pictures with you. And with all that being said, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you at my next Dollar Tree haul. Bye, guys.